Welcome to Kyoto, a city where ancient traditions are woven into the daily tapestry of modern life, creating a vivid cultural landscape that attracts millions of visitors each year. As the imperial capital of Japan for over a thousand years, Kyoto is not only the heart of traditional Japan, but also a repository of its national heritage. Remarkably, despite modern pressures, the city was spared from large-scale destruction during World War II, allowing its 2,000 religious sites and numerous historical structures to persist relatively intact. This fortuitous preservation makes Kyoto a living museum, offering an unparalleled window into Japan's past. Join us as we explore the top 10 must-visit sites in Kyoto, each a doorway to the soul of this ancient yet enduring city. Number 10. Kamigamo Shrine Start your Kyoto journey at Kamigamo Shrine, one of the city's oldest Shinto shrines founded in the 7th century. Dedicated to the Kami of thunder and agriculture, it sits serenely along the Kamo River, surrounded by ancient woods. The shrine is famous for its traditional architecture, including the Honden main hall with its thatched roof and the distinctive Tatesuna sand cones that symbolize purity. Kamigamo Shrine is a focal point for enduring cultural traditions, notably hosting the Aoi Matsuri every May, one of Kyoto's three great festivals. This event features a colorful procession, with participants in Heian period costumes celebrating the shrine's historic connection to Japan's imperial past. The tranquil environment, with its flowing river and shaded pathways, offers a peaceful retreat from the city. It's an ideal spot to appreciate the continuity of spiritual practices and the natural beauty that have defined Kyoto for centuries. Number 9. Kurama Dera Venture into the northern mountains of Kyoto to visit Kurama Dera, a temple that promises not only spiritual enrichment but also breathtaking natural scenery, accessible via a scenic cable car ride or a rewarding hiking trail. This mountain temple provides a panoramic view of the surrounding forested landscape that changes dramatically with the seasons. The temple's history is steeped in mystique and legend. Founded in the 8th century, Kuramadera is said to be the abode of Tengu, mythical creatures that are part human, part bird. These spirits are considered protectors of the mountains and have played a significant role in Japanese folklore. The approach to the temple is as captivating as the destination itself. The path is lined with ancient cedar trees and stone lanterns that light up beautifully during evening visits. Along the way, visitors can stop at Yuki Jinja, a smaller shrine associated with a powerful Tengu. Kurama Dera is not just a site of historical and spiritual significance, it's also a place for personal discovery and reflection. Many visitors find the serene hike and the temple's tranquil atmosphere ideal for meditation and contemplation. The temple also offers stunning views of the valley below, especially enchanting during the autumn when the foliage paints the landscape in vibrant colors. Number 8. Toji Temple Located just a short distance from Kyoto Station, Toji Temple stands as a symbol of the city's ancient architectural and spiritual heritage. Founded in the early Heian period, Toji is renowned for its five-story pagoda, the tallest wooden tower in Japan, and serves as a stunning example of classical Buddhist architecture. The temple was originally established in 796 AD as one of the guardian temples of the capital city. It has played a significant role in the religious and cultural life of Kyoto throughout the centuries. The pagoda itself is beautifully constructed, featuring elaborate woodwork and a design that has withstood the test of time, embodying the resilience and enduring beauty of traditional Japanese craftsmanship. Toji Temple is not only a place of worship, but also a hub of cultural activity, especially during the monthly Kobo market, held on the 21st of each month. This flea market attracts locals and tourists alike, offering a range of antiques, crafts, and culinary delights, making it a perfect place to find unique souvenirs and experience the local flavor. 
The temple grounds are a tranquil haven throughout the year with meticulously maintained gardens that showcase a variety of plants and flowers that change with the seasons. Visitors can explore the various halls, including the Kondo, Lecture Hall and Kodo Auditorium, which house important cultural properties and statues significant in the history of Japanese Buddhism. Visiting Toji Temple offers a deep dive into Kyoto's religious traditions and provides a picturesque setting for those looking to explore the spiritual and historical depths of this ancient city. Number 7. Nanzenji Temple Nestled at the base of Kyoto's eastern mountains, Nanzenji Temple is a pivotal site in the Zen Buddhist tradition and one of the most prestigious temples in all of Japan. With its massive Sanmon Gate, which visitors can climb to get a sweeping view of the city and its expansive grounds, Nanzenji offers a profound glimpse into the spiritual and aesthetic life of medieval Japan. The temple complex began its life in the late 13th century and has grown to include multiple sub-temples, each featuring beautifully landscaped gardens that are particularly striking during the autumn leaf season. The temple's main hall, the Hato, often hosts important Zen ceremonies and is adorned with a famous ceiling painting of a dragon. Perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Nanzenji is its aqueduct, built during the Meiji period this brick aqueduct is part of a canal system that was constructed to carry water and goods between Kyoto and Lake Biwa. It presents a fascinating blend of industrial utility and serene beauty as it cuts through the temple grounds. Visitors to Nanzenji can also explore its traditional Zen gardens, including the renowned Nanzen Inn Garden, which features a tranquil pond and meticulously placed stones that invite quiet reflection. These gardens exemplify the Zen ethos of simplicity and mindfulness, providing a peaceful escape from the bustling city. The temple's atmosphere is calm and contemplative, making it an ideal spot for meditation and spiritual renewal. Walking through the temple grounds, with the sound of water trickling from the aqueduct and the sight of ancient architecture surrounded by lush greenery is an experience that captures the essence of Kyoto's rich cultural heritage. Number 6. Philosopher's Path The Philosopher's Path is a quaint and picturesque walkway that follows a cherry tree-lined canal in eastern Kyoto, stretching between Ginkakuji, Silver Pavilion, and Nanzenji. This path was named after the famous Japanese philosopher Nishida Kitaro, who is said to have used this route for daily meditation. A stroll along this path is especially magical during the cherry blossom season in early spring when the trees are in full bloom, creating a stunning canopy of pink and white flowers. However, the path offers a peaceful and reflective walk any time of the year, with the changing seasons bringing new colors and sights. Along the path, visitors will find a series of small cafes, artisan shops, and fine art galleries, providing plenty of opportunities to stop and enjoy the local flavors and crafts. The trail also passes several small temples and shrines, each offering its own unique history and serene environment. The path's gentle ambience and natural beauty make it a favorite among artists, writers, and anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. It's an ideal spot for photographers and nature lovers alike, offering endless inspiration and tranquility. Completing the Philosopher's Path gives you a deeper appreciation for Kyoto's cultural landscapes, blending natural beauty with thoughtful design and historical significance. It's a reminder of the city's ability to maintain a balance between development and preserving natural beauty. Number 5. Arashiyama Bamboo Grove Located on the western outskirts of Kyoto, the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove is one of the city's most photographed and iconic landscapes. This sprawling bamboo forest creates an otherworldly atmosphere that is both awe-inspiring and serene. As you walk through the towering green stalks of bamboo, the light filters in a unique way, casting soft shadows and creating a natural sound insulation that envelops visitors in an almost surreal tranquility. The path winds through the grove, leading to hidden gardens and small temples, providing a magical exploration experience. 
Arashiyama itself is a scenic district with a lot to offer beyond the bamboo grove. Nearby attractions include the picturesque Togetsukyo Bridge, Tenryuji Temple, with its beautiful garden and a variety of small shops and traditional restaurants. Visitors can also enjoy scenic riverboat rides or explore the area by renting a rickshaw. The bamboo grove is particularly striking during the early morning hours or just before sunset when the crowds are thinner and the light is most dramatic. Photographers and nature lovers alike will find this time ideal for capturing the stunning beauty of the grove. Visiting the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove offers a unique opportunity to connect with nature and experience the profound calmness that bamboo forests are known for. It's a must-see destination for anyone looking to capture the essence of Kyoto's natural beauty. Number 4. Kiyomizu Dera Perched on the side of Otowa Mountain, Kiyomizu Dera is one of Kyoto's most celebrated temples. Founded in the early Heian period, this historic temple is best known for its wooden stage that juts out from the main hall, 13 meters above the hillside below, offering visitors breathtaking views over the city and the surrounding nature. The temple derives its name from the waterfall within the complex, which flows from the nearby hills and feeds into three separate streams. Visitors often drink from them, as each stream is believed to bestow different benefits – longevity, success at school, and a fortunate love life. Architecturally, Kiyomitsu Dera is a marvel. Constructed without the use of nails, this feat of engineering combined with its historical significance earned it a place on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The temple is an exemplary representation of Kyoto's architectural and artistic traditions. The approach to the temple, known as Kiyomisu Zaka, is a bustling lane lined with shops selling snacks, souvenirs, and crafts. This lively street enhances the approach, making the journey to the temple as enjoyable as the visit itself. Kiyomizu Dera is particularly popular during the cherry blossom season in spring and the colorful autumn leaf season. The nighttime illuminations during these periods draw many visitors who come to see the temple and its stage bathed in beautiful lights, creating a magical atmosphere. Visiting Kiyomizu Dera not only offers a chance to witness ancient Japanese culture and architecture, but also provides a space for reflection and appreciation of the natural beauty that Kyoto has to offer. Number 3. Fushimi Inari Shrine Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of Kyoto's most iconic and visited sites. Renowned for its thousands of vermilion tori gates that trail up the Inari mountain, this Shinto shrine dedicated to Inari, the god of rice and prosperity, offers a unique spiritual and visual experience. The shrine's pathways, covered by these bright red gates known as Senbon Tori, thousands of tori gates, create a vivid tunnel that captivates and leads visitors through the wooded forests of the sacred mountain. Each gate is donated by individuals or companies hoping for good fortune and success, evidenced by the inscriptions on the back of each gate. Beyond the Tori paths, the shrine complex sprawls across the mountains and includes multiple smaller shrines, statues of foxes, considered to be Inari's messengers, and scenic viewpoints overlooking Kyoto. The climb to the summit of the mountain is a rewarding trek taking about two to three hours to complete, with various food stalls along the way, offering refreshments and traditional Japanese snacks. Visiting early in the morning or late in the evening is recommended to avoid the crowds and experience a more mystical atmosphere. The sight of the Tori gates winding through the forest and up the mountains in the soft light of dawn or dusk is truly breathtaking. Fushimi Inari Shrine is not just a place of beauty and wonder, it's a site of cultural importance, reflecting deep spiritual beliefs and practices that have been a part of Kyoto's history for centuries. It's a must-visit for those looking to delve deeper into the cultural fabric of Japan and experience one of the most visually stunning religious sites in the world. Number 2. Gaion District Step into Gaion 
Kyoto's famous geisha district, known for its beautifully preserved machiya, traditional wooden townhouses, this historic area represents the heart of Kyoto's traditional entertainment, where geiko, Kyoto dialect for geisha, and maiko, apprentice geiko, can be seen moving between tea houses and high-end ryote, invitation-only restaurants, in exquisite kimonos. Gion's atmospheric streets, particularly Hanami Koji, the main street, are lined with shops, restaurants, and okaya, tea houses, where guests can experience kaiseki dining and performances by maiko and geiko. The district's charm is further enhanced in the evening when lanterns light up the narrow lanes, creating a mood that feels like stepping back in time. For those interested in the arts, Gion is also home to several theaters, including the Gion Kobo Kaburenjo Theater, where visitors can enjoy traditional performances, such as the annual Miyako Odori Cherry Blossom Dance, performed by Maiko. Exploring Gion offers more than just a glimpse into the geisha culture. It provides insight into Japanese hospitality and the preservation of a way of life that prioritizes beauty, art, and the subtleties of human interactions. Visitors are encouraged to respect the local customs and privacy of the maiko and geiko while enjoying the area. Walking tours of Gion are available, often led by knowledgeable locals who can provide deeper insights into the history and intricacies of this unique district. These tours often include visits to the key landmarks like the iconic Yasaka Shrine at the end of Hanami Koji Street, which plays a central role in Gion's cultural activities. Gion is not just a tourist destination, it's a living museum of Japanese culture that offers a profound connection to Kyoto's historical heritage. Number 1. Kinkaku-ji, the Golden Pavilion Kinkaku-ji, or the Golden Pavilion, is the most iconic symbol of Kyoto. This Zen Buddhist temple is renowned worldwide for its top two floors completely covered in gold leaf, shining impressively against a backdrop of the Kyoko-chi, mirror pond, which beautifully reflects the pavilion. Originally built in 1397 as a retirement villa for shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, Kinkaku-ji was converted into a Zen temple by his son according to his wishes. The structure has burned down several times throughout its history, most recently in 1955, after which it was rebuilt in 1955, making it an exemplar of the phoenix rising from the ashes. The pavilion functions as a Sheridan housing, relics of the Buddha, and stands as a stunning example of the fusion of Japanese architectural styles with the natural environment. The surrounding strolling garden embodies classical Muromachi period garden design and is designated as a special place of scenic beauty. King Kakuji is not just a visual marvel, it also serves as a powerful symbol of peace and reflection. It's been an inspiration for various forms of art and literature, including Yokio Mishima's famous novel, The Temple of the Golden Pavilion. The best times to visit King Kakuji are early morning or late afternoon, when the sunlight magnifies the golden hue of the pavilion, creating a breathtaking view that's perfect for photography. Throughout the year, the surrounding gardens offer a variety of seasonal beauty, from cherry blossoms in the spring to red maple leaves in the fall. Visiting King Kakuji offers a profound glimpse into the aesthetic and cultural values that have shaped Japanese art and architecture. It remains a testament to the artistic heritage of Kyoto, making it a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to the city.